Now one thing you want to be conscious of is when you're using copper based medications you really want to make sure you do not overdose the copper based medications because on several instances I've found that after an overdose of copper based medication I've seen a failure of the osmoregulation system so you can see with these trevally here that they're ultra thin and that's basically happened over the space of several days so they can't starve in that time but if the osmoregulation system fails um, due to what, what may possibly be um, elevated levels of copper then that is a problem so with copper based medications you're really better off adding the recommended amount and then testing it the next day then adding the re recommended amount and then testing it the next day instead of winging it because you don't want to end up with elevated levels or osmoregulation systems can be a pro problem.